Jacob Gold will soon be entering the sixth grade. At 11 years old, he likes to learn about science and enjoys building things. So when he walked by Robot City Workshop on his way home from school, he thought he should check it out. It's really fun because you know that you built it and then you can keep it. I'm making a robot that can play soccer. The Robot City staff leads the workshops at the Lakeview store. One of them is Matthew Rogowski, and he calls himself a robot wrangler. A robot wrangler deals with all robot-related problems, questions, queries, anything you have about old tin robots, robot history, robot building, we try to answer any questions. Robot City has been running workshops since February, about two months after the store opened. Anyone can participate, or you can just go into the store to browse. Since we love robots so much, and we kind of want to get people interested in the hobby because it's definitely something that's upcoming in the world in terms of just technology and utilization of robotics that we think that if we get a lot of young minds kind of interested in it, we can kind of broaden the field eventually. Stephen McGee is a research associate professor of learning sciences at Northwestern University. Our general approach is project-based. So each, within each course, there is anywhere from three to five projects that the students will take on during the year. And then within the project, um, there's a number of inquiry-based activities. McGee says that learning to build robots fits well into this category, but integrating this into a curriculum would not be easy. You know, we would love to incorporate robotics into the, um, the, the curriculum that we provide. Um, I think one of the difficulties with um, any sort of programming, robotics, engineering type activities is that unfortunately the state standards that kids are expected to learn tends to focus on the content. This means that because schools are not held accountable for teaching their students robotics, it may not be worth their time. They could be teaching students concepts that are found on state exams. Still, McGee says the workshops do complement what students learn in school. It's wonderful when you have organizations that are able to provide that supplemental activity for kids that really enjoy robotics and enjoy hands-on building, designing. The hope is that maybe that would spark them to get some interest in science and understand that if I want to pursue science as a career, there's a certain amount of hard work that I have to do back in school. Robot City workshops range from beginner to advanced levels and are suitable for all ages. Some of the kits that we have in the store the jungle bot or the line tracker, which are pretty simple in terms of build, like difficulty, we'll have those for like the younger kids, and then we'll have like soldering workshops or programming stuff for the older guys. McGee says for kids who aren't that interested in science, robotics could be an answer. It's a great way to really hook them um, and get them involved, and they start. You know, it's almost like playing, but then all of a sudden they're doing science and they're doing engineering. For Gold, the workshops are worth it, and he'll be back to learn more. It makes me feel proud that I can build it. It's really good because you can learn about like electricity and stuff and how the mechanics of a lot of machines work while still having fun and be able to use the robots. Tara Kerpelman, Medill Reports.